2024 is nearly upon us and the stream of amazing cozy game releases looks set to continue. So I've compiled a list of 25 games I think you should add to your wish list. This list covers a variety of genres, themes and art styles and each and every one has something unique and special about them so I'm absolutely certain there'll be something for everyone. Critter Cove is definitely one of my most anticipated games of 2024. It's a life sim with a heavy emphasis on crafting, and I was lucky enough to be able to play a playtest of this game quite recently. I had so much fun with it, it gave me the vibes of Animal Crossing's New Horizons meets the My Time games, which is such a great combo. It has a vibrant, colourful island setting, and one of my favourite aspects of the game is that you get to go diving at shipwreck sites, and you can find all sorts of crafting materials and treasures. The character customization in particular is absolutely amazing, you can be basically anything you want. If you want more info on this game, I'll link my video in the description, as well as the Steam page so you can wishlist it immediately. We don't have an exact release date for Critter Cove yet, but it's expected to come to PC, PlayStation and Xbox in early 2024. Snufkin Malady of Moomin Valley is a game that has nostalgia written all over it, especially if you grew up watching the Moomins on TV. It's a super cute game that follows Snufkin on his journey to try and find his missing friend Moomin Troll. I played the demo of this one during October Steam Next Fest, and it's really fun. It's basically a puzzle game, as you have to figure out how to get to where you need to go, and you also need to somehow get past these park keepers, which is so funny, and I just think this game has all the good vibes. If you want to hear more about my reaction to the demo, I'll link my October Steam Next Fest video in the description, along with the Steam page. Snufkin is expected to be available on PC and consoles in early 2024. Over Magicka is a game I've been anticipating for about two and a half years, and fingers crossed 2024 will be the year we'll finally get to play it. I'm absolutely convinced this one will be worth the wait. It's basically like the love child of Pokemon and Stardew Valley, and it looks incredibly cute. The creatures you collect are these blob-like creatures that remind me of Squishmallows, and they follow you around like ooblets. As well as taking care of your blobs and your farm, there's plenty of other activities including turn-based battles, expeditions to other worlds, breeding the blobs and all the usual livesome activities like fishing and bug catching. I think Over Magicka is a brilliant take on cosy gaming as it merges genres in a similar way to Moonstone Island and I highly recommend you wishlist it on Steam now. Over Magicka is expected to come to PC and consoles sometime in 2024. Europa is an absolutely stunning exploration and puzzle game, with a story that promises to be intriguing and wholesome. I played the demo during October Next Fest and talked about it in my October Next Fest video, and I feel like this is less a game and more an experience. You play as an android who visits this incredibly beautiful place called Europa on your father's request. It's heavily implied that your father has passed away, and that there is some sort of world-changing crisis going on in the place where you came from, and during the game you'll explore and solve puzzles to find out more about what caused this crisis and what's happened to your father. Your father actually narrates the game through letters he's written, and the voice of the father is just one of those voices that's so soothing, and together with the game's graphics it gives you such a sense of peace and tranquility. And just in case you need any more convincing that this game is worth your attention, you get to travel around via jetpack. Europa is expected to release on PC sometime in 2024, but if you can't wait, you can play the demo on Steam now. Distant Bloom is a sci-fi inspired game where you are tasked with restoring a desolate planet and bringing it back to life. I played the demo of this one in June and I've been obsessed ever since. Since you've apparently crash-landed on this planet, you'll need to find and rescue the rest of your crew, and you'll need to build a home base for them to live in. I really enjoy the aesthetic of this game, and the feeling you get when you see the plants bloom and the planet come alive is really satisfying in a similar way to Loddlenaut. But, 
While I love the simplicity of Laurel Nort, I get the feeling this game has a lot more to it and will be a longer and more complex experience. Distant Bloom should be available on PC in early 2024 and the demo is available on Steam now. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is not so much a game as a study or work companion that you can have running in the background while you get things done. Its aim is to increase productivity by giving you tools such as an activity planner which lets you schedule breaks, a selection of lo-fi music to keep you focused and a customisable distraction-free space. Not only can you customise your room but you can customise yourself and you also get spirit companions which you can collect as you spend more and more time in the game. I played the demo of Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions and what I love about it is the details. For example, the sounds that you can play in the background. These include a crackling fire, the sound of rainfall and a spinning vinyl record. You can play these sounds alone or alongside music and they correspond with the different areas you can have your character sit and work in your room. I'll link my video on the demo in the description and I highly recommend you keep an eye on this one if you're looking for something to keep you focused and productive during work or study. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is due to be released on PC in the second quarter of 2024, but meanwhile you can still check out the demo on Steam. Tavern Talk is without a doubt the game I am most looking forward to in 2024. About a month back I got to play an extended two hour demo of this one and I struggled to put into words just how much I enjoyed it. Everything about it, the music, the art style, the characters, the stories, everything weaves together perfectly to make something truly magical. If you don't know about Tavern Talk, it's basically coffee talk mixed with Dungeons and Dragons which is such a unique concept and it is supremely well made in every way. I do have a video on the Tavern Talk extended demo, which I will link in the description, and the regular demo is still available on Steam. I highly recommend you try out the demo because honestly, it speaks for itself. Tavern Talk will be available on PC, and although we don't have an exact release date, the estimated delivery of the game according to its recently finished Kickstarter is June 2024. Garden Life is another game I played a demo of during October Steam Next Fest, and it is truly a stunning game. I will say I did have to turn down the graphics even though I have a fairly decent graphics card, but even with the graphics turned down it is absolutely beautiful. Gameplay wise it is the epitome of cosy, you get to grow plants, decorate your garden and expand your garden and it's pure relaxation. If you love the gardening part of House Flipper or landscaping in The Sims or anything similar, this one could be a really good pick for you. What makes this unique is that you have to figure out how to care for each and every plant, much like in real life, and you can breed new variations of plants too. Garden Life has a release date of 22nd February 2024 and will be available on PC, PlayStation and Xbox. Fields of Mystery is a super cute upcoming farming RPG and its character portraits are reminiscent of Sailor Moon, which I don't know about you but it gets me pretty excited. As well as the usual farming sim activities like fishing, mining and crafting, there are also 12 romanceable NPCs, you can have children, there's magic and there are dungeons in the form of ancient ruins. Also, there's a strawberry cow in the trailer. Just putting that out there. Fields of Mystery is expected to come to PC sometime in 2024. If you love a casual game and you love a building game, Tiny Glade could be perfect for you. It's pure sandbox, grid free and the aesthetic is just gorgeous. I'm really intrigued by how the building works. For example, if you draw a path through a wall, an arch appears. I think it'll be really fun to just play around and experiment with and it looks like whatever you do you'll end up with something beautiful. I don't know about you but for me this type of game is pure coziness. Tiny Glade is expected to release on PC sometime in 2024. Just a super quick break to ask if you're enjoying this video, please like and consider subscribing. 
It means the world to me and it helps me grow my channel and my community. Plus, I'll be covering loads of these games right here on this channel in 2024. Thank you. If you're a fan of The Sims, you've probably already heard of Life by You. It's one of several Sims-style life sims currently in development, but it is currently the only one with a release date, and it's coming from Paradox, the publishers of City Skylines. What's interesting about Life by You is that mods won't just be allowed, they'll be encouraged, and the game will even provide tools to help players create mods. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Another thing that makes this game completely unique is that it uses real-world language for conversation, rather than a made-up language like Simlich. Life by You releases on PC in early access on March 5th, 2024. Nivalis is another life sim, but it's totally unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's set in a cyberpunk city where you'll start out running a noodle stand, but your goal is to work your way up until you own all the nightlife in the entire city. But it won't be easy because this city is rough. It's rife with gangs and with the ground beneath it crumbling, it could fall into the sea at any time. This game looks so interesting. From the trailer, it looks like the city stretches all the way from the ground up into the clouds and your aim is to get not just figuratively but literally to the top. Nivalis is expected to come to PC sometime in 2024. In Little Kitty Big City, you play as a little kitty who's lost in a big city and you need to find your way home urgently. But maybe it wouldn't hurt to do a little bit of exploration first. While you explore, you'll be able to complete quests and help other animals or just create total chaos which is exactly the kind of animal simulation game I love. Just from the trailer, this game looks hilarious. Kind of like Untitled Goose Game, but with a cat. If, like me, you feel like you might secretly be feline on the inside, I highly recommend you check this one out. Oh, and you get to wear funky hats. Little Kitty Big City will be coming to PC and Switch sometime in 2024. Bandle Tale A League of Legends Story is a delightful looking crafting RPG from the makers of Graveyard Keeper. You play as a cute little creature called a Yordle who lives in Bandle City, a magical place where everyone is obsessed with knitting. Based on the trailer, this game looks cute, colourful and fun, but what really gets me excited about Bandle Tale is it has a talking sock. The story of this game revolves around you restoring the portals that connect Bandle City with the help of your friends and, of course, your knitting magic. Honestly, this sounds like just the kind of whimsical game that will bring a smile to all our faces. Bandle Tale is expected to release on PC and Switch sometime in 2024. Echoes of the Plum Grove is a 2.5D farming sim set in the cosy hamlet of Honeywood. If you're not familiar with 2.5D games, basically the characters are 2D, aka flat, and the background is 3D, and I think it's a style that lends itself really well to the farming sim genre, because while the characters are super cute and cartoony, the background has more depth and detail, while still maintaining the cute aesthetic. Echoes of the Plum Grave has all the usual farming sim aspects, like building relationships, foraging, cooking and crafting, but what really makes this game stand out is that your character can die. When your character dies, you'll play as one of their descendants, and the goal of the game is to keep your lineage going for as long as you can. If you think this sounds exactly like the kind of innovation farming sims need, you can check out the demo on Steam right now. Echoes of the Plum Grove will be coming to PC sometime in 2024. Critter Crops is another fun new take on the farming sim genre, and in this game you can grow critters. You'll play as Sylvie, a young witch in exile who will raise magical critter crops to help restore Mutter Island to its former glory. Now obviously this isn't the first game to let us grow and collect critters, but the hand-drawn pastel art style makes the game look so cute. While you'll start off alone with your critter crops, 
other characters looking for refuge will soon arrive on Mutter Island and you'll be able to befriend them and fix up new homes for them. Leveling up your critters will allow you to unlock new areas of the island, so there'll be plenty of exploring to do. Critter Crops is expected to release on PC and Switch in early 2024. Pixel Shire blends the farming sim genre with sandbox town building, and what's really intriguing is that it has terraforming, which is something I think we don't see enough of in cosy games. As well as building and decorating your own home, you'll be building and decorating homes for other townsfolk as well. You can also choose a trade such as farming, mining, fishing or cooking and you'll even be able to manage your own shop. And if all that's not enough, there's a whole continent to explore, including enchanted forests, mountain jungles and more. The islands you travel to are procedurally generated every time you go exploring, so no day will be the same, which I think is a really good way to make the game more interesting. And there are dungeons, so there will be some combat. Pixel Shire is set to arrive on Steam sometime in 2024. Viva Land is the second sim-style life sim on this list, and I'm really excited for the build mode in this one, because it has two things I think all virtual builders have been craving for a long time. Curved walls, and a full colour wheel. It promises to have resizable objects and a grid that you can toggle on or off. It will also have an online co-op mode where you can play with up to seven friends. There are at least two live stages as the description on Steam mentions toddlers and adults, and of course we'll have all the usual elements of a live sim like hobbies, careers and relationships. But to be totally honest, if the build mode is all it promises to be, I'll be sold on that alone. At the moment, an early access release is planned on PC only for some time in 2024, but there is a possibility that it may come to consoles at a later date. Magical Delicacy is a pixel art platformer all about cooking. You'll play as a young witch called Flora, and you'll travel around a magical world delivering delicious meals and potions to the townsfolk. When you open up your own shop, you'll get caught in the middle of a dispute between two opposing coven leaders. The platforming aspect of the game is inspired by the metroidvania genre, and I think this game looks totally unique. Also, I'm a huge fan of a magical witchy aesthetic, and I'm sure a lot of you are too, so I think this one is well worth looking out for. Magical Delicacy is set to release on PC and Xbox sometime in 2024. Trash Goblin is another game that looks strikingly unique. In this game, you'll play as a goblin who was adopted by an antiques dealer, and it will be your job to uncover, clean and sell various trinkets to a range of customers while growing and expanding your business. You'll be able to customise the items you sell by combining them together to meet customers' requests and cater to their preferences. It's a simple concept, but you only need to watch the trailer with the sound on to get a feel for how quirky and unique this game will be. Trash Goblin will be coming to PC sometime in 2024. Bloomtown A Different Story is another game coming from the makers of Graveyard Keeper, and this one is an RPG with monster taming and turn-based combat. You'll play as a 12-year-old girl called Emily, who, along with her friends, must save the souls of the inhabitants of Bloomtown. With disappearing children and townsfolk plagued by their own inner demons, which have taken physical form, it's up to you to stop the demon world growing on the underside. This game has definite Stranger Things vibes, but it looks really fun and definitely stands out as something that's going to be a really unique gaming experience. Bloomtown A Different Story is expected to come to PC and consoles during the second quarter of 2024. I'm going to be completely honest and tell you that the reason Neko Odyssey is on this list is because the trailer music is... well, listen for yourself. This is essentially a game about taking pictures of cats and features a really unique art style that combines pixel art characters with a 3D background. 
There have been quite a few photography-based games released in the past year or so, and it's only natural that eventually we should get one that's all about cats. There is an underlying storyline where you'll unravel the mysteries of the Japan-inspired town that the game is set in, and some cats may require you to bond with them before letting you take their picture, so yes, you can pet the cats. Neko's Odyssey will be arriving on PC sometime in 2024. Garlic Build It combines two of my favourite things, garlic and building. You will play as a clove of garlic who comes from a family of garlic builders and it's your turn to inherit your father's business and build all kinds of structures according to your customer's orders. You can build from blueprints or use your imagination and your building materials will be various different types of blocks, a bit like Minecraft blocks. But this is a 2D side-scrolling game so it's definitely different to other building games and it looks like it could be a lot of fun. Garlic Builder is expected to release on PC in January 2024, so it could potentially be the first game on this list to be released. Cozy Noughts is a colony builder set on a desolate alien planet where you will have to build everything from the ground up completely from scratch. While at first you'll need to mine by hand and carry everything yourself, eventually you'll build a fully automated production line. On top of that, you'll be able to build and decorate houses and amenities, fish, crossbreed plants and loads more. There will be some combat and you can play co-op with a friend. Cozy Noughts is due to release on PC in early 2024. Fantastic Haven is a fantasy game all about saving endangered species. The setting is a world where people are abandoning magic in favour of technology and have taken to hunting the world's various creatures, but you make it your mission to save them and convince people to live in harmony with them. You'll need to build appropriate habitats for each species in order to meet its individual needs until you can reintroduce it to its natural environment. In addition to this, you can train citizens in caring for these magical creatures to help give them a safer future. Every new creature you release helps restore magic and harmony to the world around you. Fantastic Haven is due to release on PC in the second quarter of 2024. That brings us to the end of our ultimate list of essential cosy games that are due to release in 2024. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found some new games to add to your wish list. Let me know what 2024 game you're most excited for, even if it wasn't in this list. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon with more cosy games.